Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Have you ever wondered why some people never get sick and other people seem to be sick all the time? Which are you? I'm one of the people that never gets sick. I very rarely get a cold, very rarely have ever had the flu. And you know, sometimes I have the old aches and pains of my age, but really, I never get sick. And other people get sick all the time. Just the drop of anything causes them to not feel good, has them feeling ill or tired. And I'll tell you something right now, one of the things that causes that is the way you think about things. If a person is carrying a lot of resentment, anger, or hatred towards another person, that's going to create that. It takes a huge amount of energy to hate something. I always say we don't have the luxury of hating anything because it saps our energy. It takes the immune system and crashes it because it puts you into a fight or flight system where all of your neurological energy is getting ready to fight a war. All the healing stops, all the repairing of cells stops. And now you're ready to do battle when you hate someone or something. One of the fastest ways you can kick your immune system up, I mean really, within seconds, is to do something nice for someone else. And rather hating that person or that thing that you do not like to do, start looking at reasons that you can grow because of it. All of a sudden your immune system is going to take you out of fight or flight and it's going to start healing your body again. It's going to start killing viruses, funguses, and infections and you're going to find yourself feeling better. And it starts like right now. So if you're one of these people that feel sick all the time, start looking at what you're thinking about and what you're focusing on. Maybe you're in a relationship that isn't working. Maybe you're working around someone who just antagonizes you all the time. Maybe something's going on between you and your spouse or your children. Or maybe something that's come up in your life that you started thinking about it and it's starting to bother you. Rather than sweep all that under the carpet, think about this. What can you do in your own thinking to change the way you look at it? You see, if you go to a therapist or a counselor, that's what you're really looking for is a new perspective. And you can do that yourself by taking on a new perspective or an attitude about it yourself. So kick up your immune system right now by focusing on doing something nice for someone. Maybe doing something nice for that person that you so-called hate. Or do something nice with that activity that you can't stand. And start looking at it as, what can I learn from this? What can I do today to allow this to work in my life? Not make it work, allow it to work. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very, very good day. And remember, feel good. It's all in the way you think. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.